another way for us to do a search to make sure that we're having images or songs, music, things like that, that are um, not copyrighted um, or that have copyright uh, restrictions that will allow you to share them in your projects. Um, in Google, you can click at the bottom right hand side for settings. If you're on an iPad, sometimes up here there'll be like a little cogwheel. You can click on it and then go to settings. But on a regular laptop, you just click on the bottom for settings, advanced search. Under advanced search, they have the keywords and things like that. But what you need to do is scroll down here to user rights, not filtered by license. That is usually the default for all Google searches, which means you could get copyrighted things, things that you can use, things that you can't use. Um, and so my suggestion is to scroll down to the bottom. I can tell you what the different ones are. This one means that you can use it or share it. This one is you can use it, you can share it, and you can even use it commercially. So if you're going to put it on a sweatshirt, um, if you're going to put it in a yearbook, um, you'd want to make sure that you have a commercial um, use of it. You cannot, however, modify at this setting, meaning you can't add a hat to the character or uh, change it in any way. It needs to be used in the same exact way. The next one down is free to use, share, or modify. So on this one, you can share, use, or you can modify it, but you couldn't use it commercially. So you couldn't like put it in a yearbook um, that's going to be sold for profit um, or uh, maybe the music that you might be adding to pictures of your classroom or pictures of your uh, video and then selling your video. Uh, the last one is the one that I choose to use because it's the most restrictive. It's free to use, share, you can modify it, and it can even be used commercially. So once you click that and then you come up, you can do uh, you can do your search. So Sioux are one of the Native American tribes that we are doing, and so I hit click Advanced Search. And then if I wanted images, I click on image and up will pop images that I can use. And if you'll notice right here now, it has label for reuse with modification. If I wanted to go back and filter it for whatever reason, maybe I just want to look at something and not actually use it, um, I can do that. But my suggestion is to you know keep that there whenever you're searching. These images, just make sure that again that you cite them properly. You want to cite them by, you want to cite them by their name. Uh, funeral scaffold of the Sioux chief and you want to make sure that you know who it's by and you want to make sure that you cite where you got it from from Google image um, if I click on view image it's going to take me to the original source okay if you have any questions please let me know but that's just another way to search via Google thank you and I look forward to seeing those projects that you have due on Friday